phylum chromistan so now we will see uh, what are all the fungi comes under the phylum chromistan uh, my name is enoch shankar reddy and i am doing a phd plant pathology in anamalai university so here uh, the chromista is uh, now is the taxonomic classification first before uh, entering into that so domain eukarya kingdom chromista phylum oomycota in uh, kingdom chromista the phylum is important phylum is oomycota class is oomycetes now we will see what are all the fungi that comes under uh, oomycota first one is saprolegnio mycetidae subclass saprolegnio mycetidae and peronospora mycetidae so here uh, we are not going to see each and every one in detail but important uh, things that we can see here normally in uh, uh, you know in general characters we discussed about the cell walls fungal cell walls and all those things normally fungi cell wall is made up of chitin but oomycota cell wall is made up of cellulose but few of the fungi in oomycota that is especially aphanomyces saprolegnia acaila aphrodogaila whose cell wall is made up of chitin even though this fungi are comes under oomycota this cell wall uh, this fungi cell wall that is aphanomyces saprolegnia and acaila is made up of chitin so now we are going to discuss uh, uh, pithium that is pithials peronosporals so peronosporals that is especially we are going to see uh, late blight of potato pite of the rain pestens so now we will see one by one so, so first one is oomycota so we will see the general characters of oomycota so this oomycota fungi is otherwise called as egg fungi or pseudo fungi it's not a true fungi it's a fungi like organism that's why it's called as pseudo fungi false fungi so whereas uh, oomycota cell wall is made up of cellulose i told you fungal cell wall is made up of chitin but whereas oomycota cell wall is made up of cellulose and hydroxyproline it's a combination of cellulose plus hydroxyproline but few of the fungi that comes under oomycota that is saprolegnia aucaila aphrodogaila this fungi cell wall is made up of chitin so here oomycota fungi can reproduce by means of both uh, sexual reproduction and uh, asexual reproduction and uh, the special and uh, diagnostic and prominent uh, identification character of oomycota is the uh, juice spores so it produce a juice spores that is anterior tin cell and posterior whiplash type of juice spores which means anterior tin cell we can see here anteriorly tin cell it contains air that is called a tin cell posterior whiplash type so anterior tin cell and posterior whiplash type of juice spores is the special character and identification character of uh, pilum oomycota so it produces a female gamete sorry here the male gametes are called anthridium whereas the female gametes are called oogonium uh, here uh, the fa- i mean uh, uh, during sexual reproduction they produce a sexual spores called oo spores now we'll see asexual spores in oomycota is produced by zoo spores asexual spores are zoo spores zoo spores are the asexual spores produced by oomycota whereas oo spores are the sexual spores that is produced by oomycota as i told you that the special feature of this uh, uh, identification character is oomycota is the uh, juice spores with biflagellate so juice spores are biflagellate with the anterior tin cell and posterior whiplash and the type of flagella we have already discussed in general characters of fungi so here you know uh, biflagellate with the anterior tin cell tin cell means it contains hair whiplash means it contains no hair so anterior tin cell and posterior whiplash type of flagella can be observed in oomycota so few of the important fungi that comes under oomycota is late blight of potato that is phytophthora infestans and grapes downy mildew which is caused by plasma para viticola these are all the uh, few of the important fungi that comes under oomycota phylum uh, now we will see so it's difficult to see each and every one so now we will see what are the uh, important things are considerable uh, uh, pathogens so it starts with the pithium so we'll see the life cycle of uh, pithium so pithium aphanidermata which causes a disease disease uh, that is uh, damping up of vegetables so all damping up of vegetables is mainly due to the pithium aphanidermata it is a soil borne pathogen which is caused by pithium aphanidermata now we'll see the systemic uh, uh, classification that is domain eukarya kingdom chromista phylum oomycota class oomycetes order pithials order pithials family pithiaceae genus pithium species aphanidermata these are the taxonomic classification of uh, 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 life cycle of pithium aphanidermata which causes a damping off of vegetables uh, before entering into the life cycle we will see the symptoms here in damping off uh, we can mainly observe 
two types of symptoms that is pre emergence damping off and post emergence damping off so now we'll see in pre emergence damping off seeds rot or seeds or so not seeds or seedlings actually so here the seedlings die before they emerge from the soil that is pre emergence da damping off before emerging uh, from the soil the seedlings will die that is pre emergence damping off now we will see here before emerging of soil the seedlings will die here that is pre emergence damping off now we will see post emergence damping off which means the seedlings will emerge and kill after the emergence of soil so the seedlings actually emerge from the soil after emerging from the soil what will happen the seedlings will die that is called post emergence damping off pre emergence means the seedlings will die before emerging from the soil that is pre emergence damping off whereas in post emergence damping off the seedlings will die after emerging from the soil so after emergence the seedlings will die so these are all the uh, few of the uh, diagnostic symptoms or you know diagram diagrammatic representation of uh, uh, pdm damping off now we'll see here so now we'll enter into the reproduction that is uh, a life cycle so life cycle of uh, pdm of and dermatum is uh, two phases that is asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction now we'll see so in asexual reproduction mycelium in womb mycota all womb mycota fungi produce xenocytic mycelium or aseptate mycelium aseptate mycelium means it contains no septa so this aseptate mycelium is otherwise called as xenocytic mycelium or non septate mycelium here the but the hypha is both intracellular and intracellular and no hastoria is produced here no hastoria is produced in pithium it is one of the identification and important character no hastoria is produced by pithium so here uh, after uh, you know uh, after uh, uh, hyphae or uh, uh, xenocytic hyphae what will happen that produce a branched globose juice porangia branched globose juice porangia the juice porangia is maybe produced either at a terminal or at intercalary either terminal or intercalary here uh, the thing that we have to uh, observe here is the special identification character in this life cycle is the formation of a vesicle above the juice porangium so what will happen uh, uh, in here a small vesicle is formed above the juice porangium where the protoplasmic material that is present in the juice porangium will migrates juice porangium to vesicle here in juice porangium there is no juice pores are produced when this juice porangium or the protoplasmic material present in the juice porangium when it enters into the vesicle there the juice pores are produced here that we have to observe one thing is after the formation of a bubble like vesicle or or a uh, vesicle the protoplasmic material present in the juice porangia will migrate to the vesicle after migration what will happen the juice pores are produced in a vesicle but not in the juice porangium here the juice pores are released in a rocking motion juice pores are released in a rocking motion here uh, as i told you that uh, the identification feature or uh, the type of juice spore is biflagellate with anterior tinsel and posterior whiplash type that is the most identification or diagnostic uh, you know, or prominent uh, uh, characteristics of a uh, umycota group of fungi almost all umycota produce the same type of juice spore that is anterior tinsel and posterior whiplash type so that is uh, the next one is asexual reproduction here the asexual sorry sexual reproduction here the sexual reproduction is of a gametangel contact type gametangel contact which means male and female gametangel come in contact with each other what will happen the gametes which is present in the male gametes will move from male to female and the fertilization will take place then after what will happen in sexual reproduction sexual spores that is who spores are produced who spores are produced after formation or unfavorable condition the juice spores produce a thick wall around itself and it can survive uh, throughout the unfavorable environmental conditions whenever the favorable environmental conditions will occur what will happen the juice spores will germinate and continues the life cycle now we will see the diagrammatic representation that will be very easy to understand here yeah, this is the life cycle of uh, pithium now we will see as i told you xenocytic mycelium that is xenocytic mycelium after xenocytic mycelium what will happen the juice porangium is produced this is the juice porangium this juice porangium contains a protoplasmic material when this uh, protoplasmic material present in the juice porangium they can't convert into juice spores remember whenever a formation of a small vesicle or bubble, bubble like structure above the juice porangium what will happen the protoplasmic material present in the juice porangium will migrate to the vesicle after entering into the vesicle what will happen the compartmentation of the protoplasm will happen where the juice spores are produced in the vesicle or formation of uh, juice spores can takes place in vesicle only not in the juice porangium remember 
So after formation, what will happen? Juice pores are produced, or compartmentalization, juice pores are produced, and juice pores are get released. The type of juice pores here is biflagellate juice pores with anterior tin cell and posterior whiplash. This is a special and diagnostic symptom. Here the spores are released in a rocking motion. So this juice pores get uh, encysted, uh, and whenever the favorable conditions are occurs, they will germinate. And coming to the sexual reproduction, here the sexual reproduction is gametangial contact type. Either this is male gametangium, this is big one is uh, female gametangium. So male and female gametangium come in contact with each other. What will happen? The gametes which is present in the male gametes will move to the female gametangium. Well, we can see after after uh, transferring of gametes from the male gametangium, the male gametangium become empty because the gametes which are present in the male moves to female what will happen if the pro material moves from a male to female the male will become empty we can see here the male gametangium become empty after transferring of gametes from male to female so after transferring to female what will happen fertilization will take place and they produce a thick walled oospere why this oospere is produced whenever the favorable whenever when unfavorable conditions this thick oospere will protect that Oospores. So after that, the oospores are oogony one produced, you know. So what will happen here after, uh, uh, you know, uh, plasmogam and karyogam, before the plasmogam and karyogam will take place, after that it produces a small, uh, thick walled structure. When favorable conditions will occur, this oospore germinate and the life cycle will continue. See here, asexual spores produced by oos, uh, sorry, oomycota is juice spores and the sexual spore is oospore that we have to observe here. Uh, that is about uh, life cycle of uh, pythium. Then now we enter into the life cycle of Pytophthora infestans, which is caused by late blight of potato, which is a very, very important disease and uh, has a great economical importance. In fact, uh, the disease is the main reason or responsible for the initiation of a new group or new subject called plant pathology. So hope uh, uh, all will know about uh, Pytophthora infestans that we have seen uh, so many, uh, so much of. Uh, uh, economical importance and their uh, uh, you know uh, things in uh, history itself now we will see the life cycle of uh, pytophthora infestans that causes uh, late blight of potato now we will start with the taxonomic classification so domain uh, eukarya kingdom chromista pylum oomycota class oomycetes now the order comes under peronosporales order comes under peronosporales family peronosporaceae genus pytophthora Species infestans. These are the taxonomic classification. As I told you, there is some you know class always ends with mycetes, order always ends with tails, families always ends with ACA. So if you, if uh, you know it is there in fingertips, that will be very easy to uh, you know uh, write a systemic classification. So now we'll see. Uh, starts with uh, symptoms. So pytophthora means pyto means plant, thora means destroyer. So pytophthora means a plant destroyer. So if you see the symptoms. Water soaked brown color lesions which develop on the leaves. You can see here water soaked brown color lesions initially develop on the leaves, entire leaf, petioles, and stems. So, if you take the fruits or economical pot, a rottening of the uh, portions, if we cut open the uh, fruits, if you cut open the fruits, you know, black color or rottening can be observed here, a rottening portion. So it also emits a little bit of bad odor. That is the characteristic uh, uh, symptoms that is produced by Pytophthora. So we can see here brown color rottening. So brown color rottening when we cut open the uh, economic pot that is a uh, uh, tuber. So now we'll see asexual uh, life cycle. The life cycle, uh, uh, so whatever the life cycle that may be divided into two, that is asexual life cycle and uh, sexual life cycle. So now we'll see it starts with asexual life cycle. Here the sporangia are born aerially or sympodially branched sporangia spore. So here, whereas pythium won't produce any hastoria, but in pite of the right, it produces a hastoria of a finger shape, as a finger like hastoria. Uh, finger like hastoria is produced by pite of the right. So here uh, it produces a lemon-shaped sporangia. It is a characteristic uh, identification and the character, uh, I mean, character in the asexual cycle of Pytophthora. So it lemon-shaped swellings can be uh, seen at internodes. So by falling on the suitable host or uh, at a favorable environmental conditions, so for uh, for sporangia germination, it will require 15 degrees centigrade, whereas uh, juice spore production will require almost more than 20 degrees centigrade. 
when the temperature favors uh, you know the gem tube uh, forms and uh, uh, the life cycle will continue so now we'll see the sexual life cycle uh, the sexual reproduction by means of you know uh, takes place uh, by means of antheridae and oogonia of opposite mating type antheridae and oogonia of opposite mating type but here uh, 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 the diagnostic character uh, are important in this amphigynous type of antheridium can be produced or can be observed in uh, pite of the life cycle amphigynous type of antheridium means the oogonia penetrates above the antheridium what will happen the oogonia is a female reproductive organ whereas antheridium is a male reproductive organ here the oogonia penetrates over the antheridium and form a globo structure above the antheridium so this oogonia form a globo structure above the male reproductive organ that is antheridium that is called amphigynous type of antheridium what is amphigynous type of antheridium is a, a diagnostic uh, character of uh, pite of the infestans so what will happen after that after migration of antheridium the nucleus uh, can divide into uh, divide and the oogonial wall is formed then oospores are produced and then the life cycle will continues so now we'll see the diagrammatic representation here as i told you that so cenocytic mycelium the directly uh, developed from the internal mycelium a branched sporangia spores can be seen here say lemon shaped sporangia can be observed at the internodes you can see here lemon shaped sporangia at internodes after that juice spores are produced the juice spores in uh, Uh, lead blight of potato is also biflozolate with anterior tensile and posterior whiplash what are all the fungi the all fungi that almost comes under the omicota group of fungi uh, produce biflozolate that is anterior tensile and posterior whiplash type that is uh, it happens between uh, opposite mating site it is a plus in this it is a minus so this uh, is both are asexual life cycle which happens in opposite mating types now we will see sexual reproduction as i told you amphigynous type of antheridium this small uh, uh, tube like structure is antheridium it's a female uh, reproductive organ this uh, the 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 oogonium passes over the antheridium we can see here the oogonium passes over the antheridium and form a globo structure above the antheridium what will happen the oogonium passes over the antheridium and form globo structure above the oogonium this is called amphigynous type of antheridium amphigynous type of antheridium after that plasmodium will take place paragamy takes place it produces a thick wall uh, uh, structure around itself uh, so that is a o spore whenever the favorable environmental conditions will occur it will germinate so unfavorable environmental condition what will happen it form a thick wall around itself it contains enormous amount of food material or reserve material that can be helpful for long term survival now we will see the uh, difference between pythium and pythoptera pythium and pythoptera the uh, uh, first one the meaning of pythium is decay the meaning itself of pythium is decay pythoptera means plant destroyer pytho means plant thora means destroyer pythoptera plant destroyer so pythium comes under family pythiaceae whereas pythoptera comes under uh, comes under the family peronosporaceae so pythium comes under order pythiales whereas pythoptera comes under order paranosporals coming to the symptoms rotting of roots slow growth and stunting in pythium two types of symptoms can be seen that is pre emergence damping up and post emergence damping up in pite of the what will happen water soaked lesions or rotting of roots and stems stunting discoloration and wilting can be seen in fruits what will happen decaying of fruits or brown color discoloration of fruits and slightly produces a bad odor or bad smell so coming to the parasitism so Pythium is a facultative parasite, whereas Pythoptera is a facultative saprophyte. Hostoria and Aprosoria. Pythium won't produce any Hostoria and Aprosoria. It's very very important. Pythium won't produce any Hostoria and Aprosoria, whereas Pythoptera produce Hostoria and Aprosoria. What is Hostoria? Hostoria is a nutrient absorbing organ of fungi. Aprosoria is an attachment organ or anchoring organ of fungi. Coming to the sporangia spores. here in pythium sporangiospores are not well distinguished from hyphae from hyphae they are not well distinguished but in pythoptera they are well distinguished and sympodial or zigzag branches can be also be observed zigzag branches can also be observed so the type of antheridium in pythium is paragynous type of antheridium paragynous type of antheridium whereas in pythoptera that is amphigynous type of antheridium as i told you what is amphigynous type of antheridium the oogonium passes over the male reproductive organ that is antheridium and form a globo structure above the antheridium is called amphigynous type of antheridium that is a, a characteristic feature of pythoptera so what are the baiting technique or the identification technique used uh, for uh, pythium is mustard whereas pythoptera apple so what are the examples are the fungi that comes under pythium is pythium aphanidiomatum which causes damping up of vegetables whereas pythoptera late blight of potato caused by pite of the infestants